liar liar pants on freaking fire oh my god you guys Amira totally 100% without a doubt completely lied on the last night a fiance part two of the tell-all guys I don't want to waste any time this is freaking juicy stuff let's just jump right on into this one we already saw the part one tell -all. it was a two-hour tell-all very good and it ended with Andrew and Amira you know getting into a big old fight kind of because Amira said I will only come on the tell-all because Andrew he was so mean and so scared and so horrible. I will only come on the tell if Andrew is not physically present. And when Andrew got that news, he was upset. He kind of had a little bit of a tantrum. He ran out the door. And then that was when it was kind of like, okay, wait, so is he going to stay? Is he leaving? Because he'd gone, he went outside. Then he was like, okay, I'll come back. And then it goes back and forth, back and forth. We got to see at the beginning of this tell, although that Andrew did actually end up getting in the car and he went home. He left. That was that. It kind of broke my heart to see because I wanted to hear Andrew's thoughts and opinions and comments when Amira said what she had to say. But Amira ended up coming out. You know, everyone was asking her, how are you? They were talking about her being deported. I'll get more on that in a couple of minutes. But the first question that she said that was a complete lie was Sean asked her, did anyone reach out to you? Like, you know, Andrew, after you got detained, deported for three days. And she said, word for word, no, nothing. She said, I got no communication from Andrew whatsoever. And I heard that and I said, wait, what? That doesn't, that doesn't seem to add up, y'all. Then I think it was Jovi or Julia, seriously, everyone, Jovi, Julia, and Natalie, you could see, and kind of even Yard, and even Brandon, you could see they were like, okay, this is not add up whatsoever. Mike, Rebecca, and then Ziad, Ziad, th those three were kind of more like indifferent, kind of, but the other couples, they were like, oh my God, no, this does not add up. And I think one of those Jovi or someone said, wait, you had zero communication from Andrew during those three days. And then she came back and said, well, I had barely any. And everyone was like, wait, what? And then I remember back when that all went down, we actually saw texts on 90 Day Fiance, literally on the show that Andrew supposedly was sending to Amira while she was detained and deported. And these are the texts. He said, thinking of you, baby, let me know if you made it in. Okay, let me know if you made it. Oh, if you can. Not great grammar, Andrew. And then he also went on to say, I am so sorry, baby. I love you. And I hope you are okay. So he must have, he must have known something because I guess she just didn't respond. I don't know what exactly, but something went down and he said, I'm sorry. Then he went back and said, on, you know, a day later saying, I have been doing research. So at this point, obviously he knows that she got detained and deported and trying to figure out where you are. I'd fly to Mexico City and bust you out if I knew where you were. I am so worried about you and I am so, 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 so sorry for what happened. It shouldn't have happened. I love you more than anything, baby. Then he went on and said, oh my God, baby, are you okay? Are you, are you there, baby? Because she was, she was, she was online. And then she responded and said, hi, baby, because apparently Apparently, Andrew and Amira only know how to use the word baby, and they forgot that they both have names, Andrew and Amira. Oh my god, if I hear Andrew call someone baby again, I'm literally going to lose it. So, yes, that is the situation. Amira said that she had no communication. Andrew did not reach out to her in three days. Obviously, that was not true. Then she backpedaled and said, well, I had very little communication, but it wasn't anything sweet. It wasn't anything romantic. But we just saw those texts like, I mean, come on. He was, you know, it, I don't, and let me also say too, I am not a fan of Andrew. I am not Andrew's friend. I am not Amira's friend. I think they are both legitimate, complete and total liars. I'm sorry, Andrew, and I'm sorry, Amira. That's just my complete thoughts. So I'm not trying to defend the guy. I'm just trying to point out that Amira, she's completely, totally lying about that. And so everyone was like, wait a second, that isn't even true. So she got called out. I think she felt like a complete, total idiot at that point because she did lie. And then the Funniest, literal funniest freaking thing about this whole situation was Sean asked her, well, hey, Amira, are you dating? Have you found a new love? And I made a video on this weeks ago. And um, yeah, she is dating someone. His name is like Camel. The guy, um, he seems kind of odd and I'll explain why. That's his picture, good looking guy has the long hair. Amira must have a thing for guys with long hair, apparently, because Andrew had the same thing going on. And this is why he's kind of weird. He posted a picture, that one right there, a couple days ago saying, I'm convinced girls don't. Oh, how do I wear this politely? Toot? <laughs> that's kind of, that's the kindergarten. I don't, you know, whatever. I don't want to be too gross, but he said the word 
toot, let's just say. They just hold it in and eventually it comes out as drama. And so yeah, at the time of filming, Amira was definitely with and dating this guy. They were FaceTiming very, very, very often. This camel guy was actually posting screenshots of her and him FaceTiming and was posting it on his Instagram. So it was definitely clear as day they were in communication. But now, after that post, he has not been posting about Amira much at all lately. He's been very quiet and he just posted that thing about the, you know, tooting and the drama and everything. So if I had to guess, I'd probably say they're probably not together in present day. But it was hilarious because Sean kind of asked Amira, like, you know, there's there's no way you're probably dating anyone because Amir was like, I'm so sad. I can't ever get over this. I'm never going to, you know, do anything again in my life. This is so horrible. And then she was like, have you met anyone new? And she was, yeah, I, I met a new man. I'm already in love again. And I was kind of like, you know what? It might be a little too soon to say you are already falling in love and all this crap. But hey, if Amira does love this man, that's fantastic. It's her own life. She shouldn't have to, you know, take things slow. She can do as she wants. But the funniest thing was, Everyone, all the castmates, they were kind of joking and making little comments. Well, geez, you know, thank God he's not in America. And if he's in America and all this kind of stuff, like they were like, there's no way this guy's going to be in America. And then Sean goes, wait, where's he from? And she goes, USA, America. And everyone was like, oh my God, this is just complete green card crap. If, and I know like, honestly, like Amira could love this guy. For all I know, she could have loved Andrew. She could love this guy. But I will say one thing. If you really truly want love and you just want to be with your man, like I get, I get it. She could have, she could totally just have met this guy by random, fallen in love with him. Probably not, but that's possible. But it's like, if you did really want love, wouldn't you just, I don't know, meet a guy in the country you're living? Because she wants this man, she wants to get married, all this kind of stuff. And to me, it just seems like if you keep finding guys in the US, you just want to come here for a freaking green card. So I kind of think she thought that this man was going to come on 90 Fiance and then they'd get their own little spinoff, but like a happily ever after kind of thing, like Larissa. I don't think that's going to happen though, because I honestly think the producers are just reading right through her BS. And I wouldn't be shocked if we do see Amira again on a little 90 Fiance spinoff, maybe a pillow talk of some sort. But I do not, 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 not think we are going to be seeing her in any big, you know, happily ever after, obviously, or anything. I don't think we're going to be seeing Amira on any big 90 Fiance shows ever again anytime soon. But apparently at the time of filming, she was dating that man. But now, like I said, I don't think it's still going on. So that was Amira. I think she's completely full of crap. That is just my two cents. Definitely make sure to comment below. And let me say again, people were getting mad at me. They were saying that I, you know, I'm supporting Andrew. I'm not. The text that Andrew sent to Amira that we saw in 90 Fiance were wrong, inappropriate. He was manipulating. It was every, like, it was so, so, so wrong. So wrong. And honestly, he should come out and apologize. That was not cool by any means. So I'm not defending the guy. I'm not saying he's a good guy. I'm that's the thing. I'm not even saying the guy's a good guy. I am just saying she lied. He has his fair share of wrong, which we have all called him out on this channel. But I'll tell you one thing. She freaking lied on last night's tell -all. So That's all I'm going to say. Let's move on. That was the tell. That was, you know, Amira, Andrew. Andrew, ended up, he did leave. So we didn't get to see any more of him. Amira, she really just came and went. After she said that she was with this new guy in the U.S., she ended up leaving too. This then we saw a little bit more of Mike and Natalie and real quick with them. Do you guys remember in the part one of the tell all um, last season, we got to see Mike and Natalie have this stupid drama because Mike was like the best man for his lady friend, his best friend, his old roommate, just his, just his friend. She was marrying a man and he was like the best man for her kind of thing. And so they were friends, nothing more. At her, he was like staying the night at her place and, and, and not, nothing really went down, but Natalie took this little idea and she ran with it and she started accusing him of cheating and all this kind of stuff. Okay, well nothing happened, number one, but number two, the woman that Mike is friends with, she came on the tell-all, she was just right to the point, she was not fond of Natalie whatsoever, she was actually very mad and did not like Natalie. And that was it. Sean asked them, did you guys cheat? Obviously, even if they did cheat, they're both going to say no. So Mike and this woman, they both just said, no, we didn't. And that was really it. It was stupid because like, even if they were going to, I'm sure they're going to say on national television, they're both now married. Yeah, we both cheated. But I can tell you guys one thing. I can usually kind of tell by body language and if they kind of look nervous. This woman did not seem nervous whatsoever. And Mike was just like, no, nothing's there. I feel like we've all seen Mike lie before 
War II because he has done wrong, a lot of wrong, and he has been dramatic and he has kind of lied and twisted the truth before. And when he is lying, I feel like I feel like he's really kind of more nervous and edgy. He was just sitting there like, no, nothing happened. I this is my friend. We used to be roommates. We're nothing more than friends. I was in her wedding. I stayed at her place for you know during the wedding, and that was it. And I can't say you know I'd be lying if I said I was shocked, but we did hear you know Mike say that when he introduced Natalie and his woman, his friend, you know, to each other, Natalie was calling her this name and that name and all this kind of stuff. And honestly, you guys, I'm not shocked. Natalie is the kind of person where I feel like she's always, you know, she's very, 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 very judgy. That's it. She is not, I don't want to say she's mean, but I think she definitely is quick to judge. And yeah, so did they cheat? Probably not, but that was it. Wasn't a big drama whatsoever with them. And if you're wondering, well, what is going on with Mike and Natalie? They really didn't give any, you know, up-to-date stuff. I think that Natalie had a baby. I don't know why I think that, but I really do believe in my heart that Mike and Natalie, from the time they ended filming to when this tell-all was filmed in like February, I think they had a baby. I don't even know if those dates would add up though because they, they probably got done filming in like May. So you got May to June, June, July, July to August, uh, September. It actually could because if she would have gotten pregnant in like May by, you know, I don't even know, like G December, January, she probably would have had the baby. So it might be a little bit tight on the timeline. I think they filmed this in like February. So it might be a little hair bit too tight, but you never know. It is definitely freaking possible. So they didn't talk about their, their up-to-date life. Um, I do think that they had actually gotten, not, not, they had not gotten a divorce. I think they are separated now, but we are gonna see them on the new season 90 fiance the other way So I'm sure we'll get ever all the whole scoop then and it'll be whatever I'm not I'm not I'm not excited at all to see them, but it'll be whatever be fun We get to kind of keep up with that couple. So whatever <laughs> And we saw one of the most boring but nicer-ish couples on this season 90 fiance and That'd be Tariq and Hazel and of course you can't forget Minty. Minty is their ex person in this relationship. I don't know what you'd even really freaking call her. They came on. They have absolutely nothing going on in their life, in their marriage. Nothing is going on. Gosh, do I wish these two well. They'll probably have kids, though, I would say. But either way, nothing new is going on. Very, 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 very boring. Obviously, TLC got the hit because they are not coming on Night If Fiance Happily Ever After, and that is freaking, like, probably for the best thing they can have. I love these two, but oh my god, they're boring. Either way, they were on. They were kind of talking about this whole third relationship thing. Minty came on. They were talking about that. Sean asked Minty, are you still in contact with Tariq? And of course, she just goes, yeah, I talked to the guy today. Which it's like, they maybe, maybe they did, maybe they did. I don't even know. I don't even care. You know, Tariq was kind of like, well, wait, there's more to the whole story. And Hazel was super upset. It was just like, to me, the drama felt super, 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 super fake. I don't know if it was fake, but I almost feel like Tariq is like, you know what? We're getting paid by this show. We have to kind of give them what we came to do. And I feel like Tariq was kind of just like, let's just give them some drama because they are paying us to come here and have drama. And they are not being dramatic whatsoever. So that was basically it. Hazel doesn't want Tariq talking to Minty. Tariq wants to still kind of remain friends with Minty, I guess. That's pretty much it. We got to hear a relationship update from Rebecca and Zia. Obviously, we already know. We, I, I, I talked to Rebecca's daughter, Tiffany, a couple weeks ago on this channel, actually. So if you haven't seen that interview, definitely check that out. But we all know they're happy. They're still together. Zia actually just bought a freaking BMW. And I think with his own money. I think he makes a lot of money off Cameo. So they're together. They're still doing well. Um, Rebecca kind of kind of did like a selfie video, like, you know, to end it. But they're not, nothing is going on. They're happy. They're doing well. That is that. And we are also not going to be seeing them at all on this new season 90 fiance happily ever after which is kind of interesting but i will say same with Tariq and hazel they were pretty boring they weren't having a lot of drama so i'm not entirely shocked so not no more with them they're doing well they're still together uh, like i said mike and natalie they are we're gonna see them more on this new season Tariq and hazel that's it they're married i know that she wants to have her kid to come over here and that's about all we really know but i think they're happy together i've heard a rumor that they do actually have a third person in their relationship but they didn't really confirm that so i don't really know how true that is but they, they, they're still together. They're still happy. They're doing very, very, very well. Jovi and Yara, they're kind of the same thing as Mike and Natalie. They are doing um, better. They're, I think that the daughter, I feel like, really brought them together as a family. I think they're doing pretty well for the most part. They seem to be agreeing more, which is good, so I'm happy for them. But um, they're going to be on the new season 90, Fiance, Happily Ever After, which is going to be exciting, and I'm, it'll be good to see. So they're doing well, but on last this episode, they really weren't doing a whole lot of talking, besides when they were kind of calling out, honestly, Andrew and Amira. And the funny, bizarre, weird thing, is Andrew and Jovi, yes, Jovi and Andrew were together out partying in Sacramento this last weekend. And 
I have no idea why. So I don't just, ugh, I don't know. I, I kind of, we're like, are they friends now? Kind of bizarre. But either way, Andrew, you know, Amira, obviously with them, we're not going to be seeing these two uh, together at least anytime soon. I have petitioned time and time again to get Andrew and Amira to come on this channel together and do a little tell of our own. But obviously, Amira won't respond. And Andrew, he's all for it. Andrew has responded to my Instagram when I've reached out to him and said, will you come on this channel? He said yes. So I'm planning on having him come on the channel. I do want to say again, though, if I have him on this channel or if I have whoever on this channel, I am interviewing them as just a middle of the road, you know, middle person. If you think that I am buddies with any anyone from this show, I'm sorry, but that's just not the case. I am not friends with anyone on any of these shows. I'm just, I'm not that cool. I'm not that popular. That's just not the case. So I want to let you guys know if, if Andrew or if Amira or if anyone comes on this show, if Uncle Bo comes on this show, that does not mean I like any of them. They're just coming on the show because I want to interview them and I find it pretty interesting. So that is just that. But Andrew and Amira, obviously, not together, not in contact. And we'll probably be seeing more of Amira probably sometime soon. And Brandon and Julia also, same thing. They are quiet. They were not saying a whole lot. They also both were calling out Andrew and Amira, mainly Amira. And the thing that they, the thing that they really were calling her out for, and I have no comments. I, I have literally no idea. And that is the whole Mexico, Amira being deported thing. Because when she explained the story that she got there, they detained her. Then they ended up deporting her. And she was not, you know, they, they, they weren't giving her any real info on what was going on. When she explained the story, everyone felt bad for her. It's not, and I, I honestly, I feel bad for her too. I think that probably is true. It sounds awful. But the thing that Jovi and Yara and Brandon were all saying, because remember, Jovi travels like crazy. He was saying, you know, it's possible. But the thing he was like, he was like, I've been into some sketchy countries where they can get kind of, they make their own laws on the fly kind of a thing. And I've never, ever, 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 ever had that happen to him. But of course, he's coming from, I mean, there's, there's so many different variables in this situation. So it could be because he's coming from America. He's a man. You don't really know what is going on. And so it could be because of the pandemic too, like you really don't freaking know. That is what happened though. Joby did not believe it whatsoever. And like I was saying with Brandon and Julia, once they heard that story too, Brandon was like, I have never heard of anyone ever getting detained and deported for absolutely no reason. And honestly, I am kind of still sitting here like, okay, wait, why? I just don't get like, why? Like, why did she get deported? Like, I really don't understand. Like, to me, I don't think she's lying. Like, like, there's a real possibility that she made the whole thing up. I don't think that's the case at all, but I'm still like, you know what? Like, why would they do that? Like, I just don't get why they do it to her. I, I, I just, in the bottom of my heart, I want to know. Why did they do that to her? I have no idea. And I don't think we're probably going to ever freaking know, sadly, boo-hoo. But it's like, I don't know. Yeah, really sad, kind of sucks. I don't think she's lying, but she definitely could have made the whole thing up. I, I don't think that's the case at all. So, you guys, 90 Day Fiance before the 90 Days. Oh, my God. Whew. What a season. This was honestly... It was not a bad season. Now, now was there a lot of love going on? Well, not really, but I will say there was some pretty good drama. It was kind of bizarre. Some good, some boring, some weird. I'm not complaining, though. I'm happy this season is done. And I am also pretty freaking happy with the couples that are coming on to the new season of Night Day Fiance Happily Ever After. And like I said, Brandon and Julia, um, Mike and Natalie, Yara and Joey. Then we also have Angela and Michael, which that should be just whatever. I mean, I, we, you know what? Angela's a loud mouth. I think Angela is very disrespectful to some people, like very, very, very. But hey, I wish her well. Whatever. I wish Michael a lot of well. But I, I honestly, at this point, I, just want, I, want, I want Michael to come over to America. That's all I want. And we can just see if this marriage is going to freaking work. So we have them. Who else? We also have. Who else do we have? Then we have Tiffany and Ronald. Then we have Elizabeth and Andre. And then we have <laughs> Kalani and Espanola. So we have seven couples. It should be fun. It should be a blast. Honestly, all these couples, I think they're all going to have some drama. Elizabeth and Andre, I will say, eh, again, because they're just such fake drama. But either way, let's go on to the open mind next week. And the tell was only an hour long, guys, because of the Sister Wives season finale was on right after. And like I said, it was the season finale. So, of course, they needed the two-hour slot, which, once again, boo-hoo, cry me river, kind of freaking sucks. So, anyway, guys, 90 fiance to the tell -all. We are done. It is over. And that's a wrap, y'all. Well, thank y'all so much for watching. Please hit that like button. Hit the comments below. We're back tonight with more 90 Fiance next week. But y'all better please stay tuned for many more videos in the meantime.